Welcome to, or welcome back to, Lauren's Lure, a climbing, I guess it's best to say a climbing, walk. I don't know if I'd say walking simulator, but more or less is, but isn't. But it's a nice adventurous game, so maybe you could compare it like, say, Elden Ring, but not completely, you know, without the soul thing. We get to climb and explore places and see the vistas in the world, this kind of thing I like. So, the game's in prologue and it's about to release on Steam, let me double check on the dates. The game's coming out... The demo came out, I guess, on uh, the 11th of March, aka Lorne's Lure Prologue, which I'll have in the description down below. As for the full game, it says March, or it says, sorry, coming 2022. So the full game, unknown, but the prologue is out. So I'm gonna have to see what kind of differences there are in there, and just uh, give it more of a one one-time playthrough. Simulation challenge unlocked. Oh, look at that, there's a bunch of things also the performance is there too. Interesting. You'll be able to see what you've missed, what you have to still find, explore a lot more. Yeah. Let's just see how it's possibly improved or expanded. I first saw it while wandering the outskirts of my home colony. I followed it down into an abyss. Then it disappeared. Some strange glitch. Hmm. Mm, rusty. I've been lost down here for 253 years. In a place I'm not supposed to be. Hmm. I need to find the ghost again before my energy core expires. It's all I have left. I mean, is it really a place that it's not meant for you? Because the world does seem to be completely built around... I don't know, your movement. I don't know if it's like the world building... There's no going back. I don't know if the world building is meant to uh, connect like that, or if that's just, you know, an unspoken uh, technical similarity. Oh, that they would claim... Ah, oh, the time. Just to stress you out. To be as yep. And that would claim, you know, this world is not meant to me. But then it's like, if it's not, then why is it shaped perfectly for your movement? Dropping down is safe as long as the floor isn't too far below. I think, yeah, it tells you if it's, you can climb. I'll have to see if there's an indication of whether or not you die upon falling. Press space to jump. Hold it to jump a little farther. Yeah, it's typical jumping rules. Like in Super Mario Bros. Precise jumping may take a few simulations. Hold T for the... Oh. Hmm. If anyone needs extra time, then they're fools. They're weak! You have to climb like a pro like me! But I've already like told like, the developer long ago, and you slide on steeply angled surfaces. This is really nice for beginners, yeah. See if you can use the slide to reach the gap. I mean... That... That pillar, maybe? No, no, no. Almost had it. Okay, let me try that again. It's so like only to like basically here. Not sure if there'd be anything. Hold to walk instead of running. Nah, I'm good with running. Hmm, gem. You may have noticed that blue crystal. These collectibles are optional and scattered around each level. Once you collect them all of them, you unlock a special challenge called a simulation. Hmm. Can go. I mean, I do want it, yeah. 
The question is, can I reach it prior to getting the climbers? Um, maybe not. We can climb that wall, this wall. I think we need to just go get the climbers. So eventually we'd have to come back, because we can't get that guy. Not without the picks. So I think most of this gameplay will just be like me exploring, communicating a little bit, and then not talking and showing raw gameplay. Mm. Uh, I definitely feel like I'd die from this, but... Yeah. Perfect. But, I don't know, maybe I'll re-explain just for those unfamiliar. Because it's been a long time since I played either the demo of this or maybe even an earlier form of this, because the developer had been making previous games that relied on jumping, climbing, whatnot. You can scan things by pointing at them and holding left mouse button. Yes. A safety hut. These used to be... Uh, th these are used for by explorers that travel into the mega structure. They're built for extreme longevity, but this one is showing signs of wear and tear. Material analysis suggests it was built 534 years ago. So this should be part of our, yeah, total scans. We failed the simulation once, so then it'd be like, if you want perfect simulations or perfect games, you'd both need to explore everywhere, because then you'd have to think, okay, well, do I have the stamina to climb way up there, and then what is up there? There's absolutely no doubt there's a lot of secrets that'll be hidden in the full game, like a lot more than I even I'd find. But, uh, I don't know, interesting enough. I'll just leave and presume there's secrets that I'll miss, because I don't have the equipment yet, so I, there's no point in exploring. Nice. I like the impact, though. Yeah. Like, sounds like you got some weight behind the drops. Hmm. Bonk. <laughs> oh, he died from that! Oh, come on! Alright, fucking broke that pole right off. Um, nope. There we go. That should be fine. Hm. Nah, nah, fucking pipe. Again. No, I'm forcing it down. Jim. One out of eight. But no, the classics is like I grew up playing. Mm. You can use these to move around on walls. You jump into the wall and press left click to cling onto it and then move with w uh, WSD. Once you get to the top ledge, keep moving forward and you'll pull yourself up automatically. Keep climbing to the tutorial points to learn more. What happened to him, though? This was a thing designed like my character. But is this purple shit the insides of the mall? No, so they have... It's like mushrooms growing out. Maybe some kind of infection. Let's scan them. An observer that has fallen to their death many years ago. Observers are explorers that leave their home colony to document what is outside. They return at a rate of approximately 0.23%, and the ones that do often have important findings. This one is from a foreign colony of unknown origin. There's a strange mass of mold growing through their suit. Mm. So now the question would be, the game would want us to climb there, but... Yeah, we do have a finite amount of stamina. Mm, I don't think we can reclimb back up. Oh, we can rejuvenate. Nah, I mean, we could rejuvenate and then cling back on the wall. Oh. Problem. I don't know, I want to get back up there, but I guess we can't. Not for the prologue. But with the new equipment, we should be able to maybe restart the level. And, hang on a sec, I hit my microphone. Let me fix this. <coughs> yeah. Um. I don't know, we'll just climb. We can maybe restart in the simulation and get the crystals with these hooks now. We'll have to see how it works or not. Because I'll probably just do a one play with this. The stamina under your... Yeah, I, I know about that. I'm a pro already, so leave me alone. You can also jump off the wall hold, aim in the direction you want to jump. If you aim above your waist, you'll apply a jump force. Yeah. If you look below, you just let go. See so if you see this technique. Yep, yep. Hmm. 
see why they want me to go that way then. I like I can climb and look back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then I'll just do a. No, ah, ah, fuck! I hit left click. Fuck you. And yeah, we'll go. There we go. As soon as the circle goes like full, uh oh, gotta keep climbing. I don't know what the whole mark. I guess was just to guide me. Whatever. Not everything is climbable. You can hover your target now. <laughs> yeah. The wall. Oh, I like that. The level name on a 3D uh, transparent texture. That's nice. You can shimmy around corners. Yeah. Not, th oh, and this one. Feels like there'd be something here. They want us to go in this way, but we can see things up there. Exploration is rewarded, typically. This actually looks familiar to the place. A little familiar to the starting place. Toilet? Chair? Either way, I'm going to explore where they don't want me going. It's massive. There's definitely a crystal way over there. I want to go where they don't want me going. And uh, I'll show some gameplay, I guess. Well, that didn't go as planned. Let's see if I can just jump. Uh, oh, we can, okay. Since you just grabbed the edge of the wall. There could be something up there as well. Yeah, we could actually maybe get somewhere over there. That looks more secretive than over here. But this is a dead end, then we'll just uh, travel there and be done with it. I don't want to, like... I probably won't be able to play and like completely finish the game, but I do want to at least... You know, get an interesting amount shown, though. Alright, so what we have found here? This seems to be a machine designed to bore into the wall to extract material samples. It is currently inactive. Uh... Stacked data cleaning computers, they are processing the raw sensor data retreat. I see. Separate scans, though. A material research computer findings. Analysis suggests this material is not decomposable by weak natural processes, such as wind, heat, and water. It is light but dense enough to be durable under extremely high pressure. This is likely why it can be shaped in such modular components. It is undateable with existing methods, and it isn't clear what process arranged them. Hmm. So, one of the things I'll try, of course, out of just simple curiosity of climbing, because I want to be thorough, find an interesting amount of things. Can we die to this? No. I'll climb, say, up here, probably to no avail. Climb up there. There might be some secret things. Like, say, this is implying... This here is implying there were structures either being constructed for more additional platforms to climb onto, or that they fell. One or the other. So I'm kind of curious if there's something up here. Alright, so I'm going to try climbing here. Alright. I had a feeling I could. It just depends on which angle, which jump, and from where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta go off the path, 100%, as much as you can. We'll find some secrets. Maybe, maybe not all, but at least some of them. What is this? C8... 8615, the observer's team's colony number. This was likely the supply route, but it caved in. Well, nothing here. But yeah, it was at least rewarded for the exploration wise. I don't imagine there's anything else. Alright, climbing in the opposite direction, although I'm about to fall. Ah, fuck! Alright, that's not where you're meant to go. Doing something as simple as this would work. There we go. 
And there's also an opening there. You can go two ways. There's just so much to explore, though. So it's like, again, sort of like with Elden Ring, though. Exploration is rewarded and interesting. Oh, and this is the start. Never mind. But well, there's just such large levels. I'm trying to remember what the other game that they made was a climbing game with eggs. I'd have to look at their game store page, but I enjoy the nice, casual, relaxing nature of this. If you miss a jump, just keep moving forward. <laughs> yeah. This reminds me of my... I, I probably like explain it in every single one of these videos. I'm like, yeah, Team Fortress Classic. Zoom out. Oh, robot vision. Yep, 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 yep. It's just a little unbalanced, a little, a little spooky. Uh, waypoint heads. Oh. They're entirely optional. I mean, eh, I'm pretty fine, fine with what I have. So I know to go there, or up there, and just use your eyes, you know? Alright, well, I'm back. I, uh, got a little sick. So then, I took some medication. And then... I smoke some weed, so it'll be much better. <laughs> it'll be a much better uh, way to converse while playing it's such a casual game, just like the unpacking game, which I should play again, even if it doesn't get as many views as changed, because nothing does, which is comical. But I don't know, but this, uh, yeah, exploring this would be fun, especially with brand new headset, so I can listen to music in a different way. Okay. Yep. Ooh, almost lit off. Um, I think we could... Uh, we should be able to climb and just jump down. I don't even know why I jumped. I guess we could go down and down, but not yet. Not this clearly things around here. And over there. It looks like we drop and then go that way, maybe? Let's see. There we go. I've been lost for 673 years, 204 of which I've spent here, tapped into this power source. My frame is now lacking enough oil to move through the structure safely. There's nothing left for me. I can't cling onto this power source any longer. I've decided to see the bottom. How depressing. An unknown entertainment device, L's L. Hatch. Oh yeah, Hatch! Yeah, the other games the developer made. Hatch and... Oh yeah, Hollowhead! Now, Hollowhead brings me back memories. Good stuff. Brings me back. Well, yeah, I guess we could go down. Why not? We'd have to just really, really slowly climb, though. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. When I said slowly, I would mean more slowly than that. Like... Actually... What if... We just had to get closer to the wall. I'm hoping I'd be able to latch on somewhere. I don't know if I have enough stamina. We can't grip on there. Um... I don't... Mm, I think we drop and die. I have to look for another route. Yeah. Alright, so I went somewhere else. I climbed back up. Because that's likely where they want me to go. And as such, I'm just making my way through. I'm not sure how much more gameplay I can show. Like, this place is very familiar to the original demo I remember playing. But I feel like if it's roughly the same, I'd skip a lot until I find like a mapping layout that's different. I'd gather those gems, but honestly... I don't really want to be too thorough since I've already done that with the demo and everything else. So we'll just go like where these orange things guide me so we can just... Uh, oh. I can get rid of... Oh. Yeah. Cool. But I I'd prefer maybe the interface off because they don't care about those things. But I would like maybe like the top interface gone but not the crosshair. 
I'd like one but not the other. Because then, like, with the user, like, not everyone cares about completionism. Maybe they just want to climb for the sake of climbing, or they don't care about their, you know, how much time they've used or not. But I'd like the crosshair because it still tells me what I can and can't climb, just in case, you know, if you forget. It tells you what's unclimbable. So it's, it's useful, the uh, crosshair. But the user interface on the top, maybe not so much. So we could go get that. Come here, you. Uh, hell yeah. And well, I think we're going that way. We could maybe climb up. Maybe. Could try it. I don't know if we can go any further from here. We might be able to. I'm kind of curious if there is a pathway I could take, or if that way is the only way I need to go. Actually, wait, that's where I've been. That's the house. There's no reason to go back here. All right. Yeah, we should just keep going up then. Going back down, going this way was to get that one blue crystal to be a completionist. Like, to do what I exactly did of sliding down likely was exactly what that was intended. But there's no other reason to go back down because I basically already did those. The main objective is definitely going down that way. Maybe then soon after that I'd maybe just consider that an an episode, because I, I don't need to maybe show the entire gameplay. I'd want other people to enjoy the climbing for themselves, so to speak. 
it's, it's like the adventure. It's the vistas. It's like what the. It's like you know, Dark Souls kind of thing. You're reading documents and finding out what's happened and finding the lore. And it's that kind of interesting thing is why you had to play such things, you know, yourself. Oh, nice. The question is. Probably not. I gotta find a way. Oh, oh. Ooh. Was that just absolutely perfect? There's also a wet, something up there, but uh, as I said, I'm not, I'm not going to go after everything. I guess that was like the only way to potentially survive doing that. If you couldn't visualize doing that yourselves, you might not get anywhere. Nice. I wasn't expecting that to be exactly what I needed to do. It's kind of funny. But... We've parted ways from Ken. He's going to try and find another route for the supply line, since the old one caved in. That's the one up there. We are going to map the vents and explore the structure below us and see how far we can go. If you come across a distress signal, you need to stop the airflow before you can follow us. The vent controls are nearby. I remember that from, like, the demo then. More things to scan. A long distance communication device. Distress signal active. Failed biome. 300 miles, or something else. And find your way to the largest feed pipe past the small biome cluster. The vent controls are nearby. Oh, an actual house. Guessing the oils may be food, not sure. Or just for exterior wear uh, protection. I could climb this, I'm sure. Yeah. So if I can get... Sure. To get up to that one, I'd maybe have to climb around on the other side. I'm curious, but mm -mm. let's see. So over here is mm, fuck. I'm also curious what's over there. To be honest, Let, let's try. All right, we just had to jump here. Should hopefully be able to jump. Yeah. Sure. Woo. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay. Fan switch should be down here. Probably. Then we have to climb up. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's try there. Then perfect. Hmm. hmm. Probably that. Yeah. Yeah. Things like that. But well, I'll probably just leave it here. Other biomes, maybe different planes, different, like, maybe grassy environments or sky-like kind of levels. I'm not sure what the game holds in its full, like, full features, full uh, landscapes. Like, I don't know what they did. I'm kind of curious, though, to be honest, of course. I like those kind of games where you can just explore. It's one of the things I love about Elden Ring. And again, I, I know it's not like this game is... Oh, like a Souls game or a hack and slash game, but you know what I mean in terms of like lore finding being scarce and out in the game to find. It's not in your face, and it's an adventure of it's just an adventure. And I like adventures. That's just me, man. But I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and hit the subscribe button, big buffalo subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Oh.